Hello, my name's Luke White. Welcome to the In2G Show. Today, our first story, we're going to talk about Jonathan Edwards. I'm sure you remember him. He was a triple jump champion, um, world champion twice, and Olympic champion. And he was an outspoken Christian, a son of a vicar. But recently, Jonathan Edwards has given up his faith. He has said he no longer believes. Um, he does say that he definitely attributes a lot of his success to the fact that he had a belief system in place at that time. But unfortunately now, he just simply doesn't have it. So I encourage us all to keep Jonathan Edwards in our prayers. Next up, we have the story of a patient who was suffering from locked-in syndrome. Now, for those of you that don't know, locked-in syndrome is a, is a syndrome where you can no longer voluntary move, voluntarily move any of your muscles. And in fact, the only part of your body that you have power over is your eyes. Um, and a man recently by the name of Mr. Nicholson requested for doctors to be allowed to end his life. This case went all the way to the High Court and the High Court actually ruled against it and said that no, they can't allow for him to be, for um, doctors to be allowed to end his life. Um, However, a few days later, Mr. Nicholson did pass away um, due to contracting pneumonia. Now, police have said there's nothing suspicious, um, you know, nothing untoward happened. But it raises a few questions for us as Christians. I mean, for me, I think, is, are there any circumstances, I don't know what you think, are there any circumstances when Christians or anyone should be entertaining the idea of taking their own life? or for allowing someone else to end their life. Now, although the Bible doesn't explicitly say one way or another, there are some cases that we can look at in trying to decipher what is the best course of action. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the story of Judas, um, you may remember that Judas actually took his own life after betraying Jesus. Um, furthermore, there's the story of Saul, where Saul actually asked his armor bearer to take his life, and um, he did so. And when David found out, David had this armor bearer killed. So there are points in the Bible with, where these type of difficult issues are mentioned. And so in trying to come to our own conclusions, maybe we can draw some, some sense of what the best course of action is from these stories. I don't know, what do you think? Feel free to get in touch with us through our Twitter account or through Facebook. Okay, guys, fantastic news. Hold on to your hats. We have found, not us personally, Elvis Presley's Bible has been found. Hooray! The crowd goes wild. I've been looking for it everywhere. I couldn't find it. I'm sure you were searching everywhere. You couldn't find it. But it has been found. And it's been found by a British person, which is kind of cool. And it's going to be auctioned in Stockport by Paul Fairweather. And it's estimated that it's going to fetch around £20,000. Ka-ching, ka-ching. I personally don't have that type of money to spend, but if you do and you end up having to buy it, then um, let us know, because obviously you're looking for somewhere to invest your money, and we can definitely, definitely help you with that. Um, as you know, Elvis Presley was a fantastic theologian, um, and as a result of that, what he had annotated in this Bible is of interest. And so let me share with you some of the annotations. To judge a man by his weakest link or deed is like judging the power of the ocean by just one wave. Deep, deep guy. So this Bible was given to him as a present by Uncle Vesta and Auntie Cleats for his first Christmas in the Graceland home in 1957. So thank you very much, Auntie Cleats and Uncle Vesta, because now you've earned one of our lucky British compatriots some money. So thanks a lot. Okay, that's all we've got time for today, guys. But we really do want to hear from you. So please, please, please visit our website, www.in2g.com. Com. We've got loads of entertainment there, but you can go straight to the entertainment section by swapping .com for .tv and check out all the videos we've got on there. One of my favourites is the dentist chair. 
I'm not a fan of the dentist. I don't know if you are, but I promise you, you will love this video. Also, feel free to email us. Please do shoot us an email. Our email address is info at in2g.com. And all of you, I know you are all on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. You're on Twitter. I was tempted to tweet while I was broadcasting. I managed to stop. If you can, tweet us at in2g. That's all we got time for. This is In2G, encouraging you to have a better life.